everyone, this is Melissa. Welcome to my channel. I am a homeschooling mom of two with one on the way and today we're going to be talking about and looking at our homeschool room setup. So if you want to see more homeschool content, make sure you like and subscribe because I'm going to be keeping up with all of our day-to-day -day homeschooling activities and some of the things that we do here. With so many of you newly homeschooling and suddenly homeschooling, I thought this was the perfect time to show you how we have things set up. Here you can see our morning plans, kind of the heartbeat of our day. It's where we get started. It's where I keep our activities and ideas. On this shelf, I have lots of our books for preschool and there is Tink, our mascot. She loves to hang out there. Here I have some extra boxes of books and things for the kids to grab and this is really the center of our homeschool. Our chalkboard from Pottery Barn Kids. On the back wall I have a calendar from Arrows and Applesauce and of course our easels from Delta Children. Each kid has one. And then we have the large Carolina large play table in the center from Pottery Barn Kids. It is well loved by now. The kids are really getting some good use out of it. So come with me. I'm going to show you in more detail on how we have our room set up. So we have our big center space over here in our homeschool room, but this is kind of where I start my day over on this shelf. So we have our curriculum books here and our plans here. So this is kind of my area to prep all of our items and get ready for the day. So we have our pre-K curriculum here. Will's plans for the month are right here. And then underneath on this shelf, I have all of our pre-K books. And this is actually where this is empty because this is where our, our school mascot sits, which is basically the dog hangs out there. Over here, we have added a calendar, which we did have in the beginning of the year, but I thought it would be easier for the kids if they could see the dates in a bright, colorful way. So this is from a fellow homeschool mom from Arrows and Applesauce. She has an Etsy shop and a blog. And then down here, we have a bench with all the kids' stuff. So I put some Montessori type stuff down here for the kids, mostly Alice because she gets bored while Will's doing more of his academic stuff. So these are things she can come in and grab. These are for Will for his letters. And then we also have, because Will in math is getting into 3D shapes, so we have our shapes down here also. And then on this side, I'm making a basket, it's not finished yet, with some things that I've downloaded from the same Mama Arrows and Applesauce, and these are just manipulatives the kids can play with. Or we can use like during our lessons. Over here, I have Will's easel. Each kid has an easel in the room, but this is Will's easel. We have some things that he needed help remembering here, some words that he needed extra help with. And then underneath, this is his guitar book. His guitar and amp are there. And under here, this is kind of a pillow that used to be on our bed, but it's now for the school room. Um, and then down here are their art smocks. Will has one, and here's all the art projects in this area. Just put that there, safe space. In the center of our room, we have this table. This is from Pottery Barn. It's been holding up pretty well, and I like having the one table area so we can all sit together. I know some people do desks, but I like to have the one table. And then this area over here, this is something I just added because I removed a shelf that we had in the calendar spot, and I ran out of room for this stuff. So here are our year of pre-K curriculum books. These are our workbooks from Habitat Schoolhouse. And each kid has one. We just finished Dr. Seuss Day, so we have these in here for like special, I just put that there for like special activities. And here in this box are Will Science kits, because he really likes science. So down here we just have some things the kids can grab. These are, I got these from Target, dry erase books. And some fun books we collected. We order a lot of books. Because we 
like to let the kids kind of just grab them and explore whenever. Then this is like the center of our homeschool room. All of this stuff, this and our table, and our one bookshelf is from Pottery Barn Kids. Saved that for a long time to get it. Um, but we had been planning on homeschooling and I knew this was kind of the setup I wanted. So I have the cubby sectioned off here. So up here I have just some of our fun things for our nature club. We have our, not, our magnifying glasses, beans for counting. We'll got this model of a horse at Frontier Town when we went over in the summer last summer. Bingo dabbers for pre-K kindergarten activities. And here is like an empty shelf waiting for more stuff. So I just have a cute picture here, a little saying. Up here where our reading curriculums that we started out with, we are pretty much finished up with all of these. We'll kind of outgrew the pre-reading for all about reading when we started with the good and the beautiful language arts. And then this book we started, but it didn't really work out for us. So I just have it there just because I haven't moved it yet. And then here we have lots of our nature activities. So we got these boxes from Target um, to put their nature finds in here. When we go out and explore, we use the curriculum Explore Nature with Children. So there's usually a nature walk every week. Our nature anatomy and farm anatomy books are in here. Our handbook of nature studies and Will's beginner books for The Good and the Beautiful, which we love that curriculum. So in here is kind of a mess. This is just a storage area. And in here I have some of our electronic learning things. Will has a robot that he programs in here that he got for his birthday. And then we have, this is a map. We haven't opened it yet, but like a math activity for his iPad. And this is a drawing activity for his iPad. I don't really use the iPads as much for learning stuff, but I figure if we ever get bored or go away or have free time, that would be a good time to use that. And then here's just some extra storage books. Our puppets that we use for all about reading and just sometimes when the kids want to play with the puppets. And here's wooden puzzle for Alice. She also likes to use these sometimes if it's really messy, but I'm always trying to figure out how to keep, keep Alice occupied while Will's doing school. I would say that's the biggest challenge, so she likes to string beads onto the pig cleaner so it keeps her busy for a while. And then in this drawer I have more storage items. I have extra manipulatives, letter blocks for Alice, planets that we got at the Franklin Institute, and our gardening supplies we're going to plant wildflower soon and start our vegetable garden. We have those things down here. I have some high things down here like my laminator and lamination paper. I actually don't have this up. We're actually decorated for St. Patrick's Day today. Um, we normally don't have this but I thought it would be fun to put that up. So down here is where I keep the kids curriculums and things that they need to grab. So. We have our kindergarten toolkit here, which is really cute. We have lots of cards and numbers. We don't use it as much, but we still like to have it there. We have some travel chalkboards from Chalk Full of Design in here. Each kid has their own set. These are really cute for extra. And then under here is Will's language art curriculum from the good and the beautiful. We also have our handwriting books down here, his level key meter. And these are from the K primer, good and the beautiful, but he's on the level K right now. So we've gone through those programs. And I actually really, really love the good and the beautiful. Um, I think we're gonna utilize that for next year also. And then down here we have more storage. We have extra Play-Doh, activity manipulative. I have our chef. Um, our chef has an apron for when we cook. We do a recipe every week. A couple more science kits. Hats from Williams 
Pittsburgh and just some other extra stuff that we use for school. And this area is kind of our arts and crafts storage. I have our extra papers, paints, pipe cleaners, crayons, markers, Play-Doh. Um, Alice loves to do Play-Doh when we do school. It keeps her busy for a very long time, so we use that almost every day. She likes to mix the colors, which drives me insane, but it does keep her occupied for a long period of time. Up here is where I keep all of our markers and pencils. Our cards from Habitat Schoolhouse. A couple books of mine are just hanging out here until I find something to fill that space. I got them a little lacing shoe and Will's learning how to tell time right now. So I have that stuff right here. There's our curriculum from Exploring Nature with Children and their journals, which we are just starting to use. At the very, very top, I have their first day of school signs, which I made. I have a download for that on my blog, um, which you can actually just print out that sign and not add it to a board, or you could do both. And then we have these for each of the kids from chock full of the de design if they just want to trace their names, like practice. And then, of course, last but not least, our chalkboard, which we use every day today. The leprechaun came and told the kids that they couldn't catch them, but they tried with their traps. Um, usually I'll have our letter of the day on the board with a little picture or diagram for the kids. So that's our school room. Thank you so much guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more homeschool content and some stuff from a stay-at-home mom. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!